Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs and I welcome you guys to part 10 of Let's Play Civilization 5, A Brave New World, playing as Ramses of the Egyptian Empire. Oh, this music playing in the background right now, this is the old Arabia theme. Also one of the songs you rarely hear in A Brave New World. It is so fantastic. Anyway, yeah, we're, we're still using custom music, I've kind of taken a big liking to it. Alright, so yeah, let's continue our journey. So, uh, let's see, it's been a couple of days since I played this game right now, so I need to update myself a little bit on it. We are still at, yes, we're still at war with Theodora. Uh, we're currently, we need to, I think we need, we need some fighter jets. I do believe we're building some. Um, would be nice to get our trade network up, but we need to do something about it first. Or we need to do something about this war. And I do want to take a city off Theodora before I make peace with her. So, uh, oh my god, William's gonna win a freaking diplomatic victory. Uh, I think perhaps this is one of the rare cases where we're actually gonna vote on Dido. Just to make sure that William won't completely dominate the World Congress. Yeah. So we will actually make Dido the host. I don't think I've ever considered making Dido a host of anything. But, I guess it happened. Anyway, we are done with the railroads now, which is great. Let's go continue the railroad down here. And I do believe that's it. Yeah, I think so, actually. At this point, I'm probably just gonna make the workers automate improvements, because, uh... Like, I pretty much have all the improvements I need, and sometimes it's actually easy. Like, I would never let the AI build improvements for me in the early game, but in the late game it can actually be kind of good to do it, because it's always not so easy to see exactly what kind of improvements you need. Whereas the AI can do it for you, you can focus on other things. And it doesn't really matter what kind of improvements you build now. Most of my cities are pretty well established. So, I might as well just let the worker do it on his own. Like so. Alright. Um, great. Novogod, let's get a... Uh, oh, we can get an infantry in here. Probably a good idea. And here we have a sub. That is great. We can, uh, we can keep bombing the city then. I don't think Theodora has uh, anti-air. Nope, she does not. Oh, we could even uh, bomb it from uh, this direction right here. Just gonna check for ships. Ah, I see an ir ironclad there. And we can move in with some infantry. We actually took down a big chunk of that city's health in one go. Yeah, she is really desperate for peace right now, but we're not gonna give it to her. Not until we crush the city, because I want this fish tile for Heliopolis. I mean, I could actually consider taking the city, but I'm not sure if it's that great of a city. It does have some nice resources, though, but it's not settled next to a mountain. I could view the city if it if it has a lot of um, if it has a lot of luxuries and maybe some buildings, then maybe I'll keep it. I'm actually not sure. We'll see. Alright, here is a great musician. Uh, can't really do so much with that, this guy just yet. Uh, Alright, let us uh, see if we can uh, kill an ironclad. We can do some damage to it at the very least. Ironclads are pretty beefy. Alright, let's continue shooting on Antioch. We can probably take the city and down. Yeah, I might keep it. I am actually a little bit unsure what I'm going to do. We'll see. Yeah, we can definitely do some damage to Theodora. Oh, she spotted my submarine. Oh, wow, she actually has battleships. Would you look at that? She has battleships. I should probably get some more subs. Anyway, we're building some more infantry, thank god. That's going to be very helpful. I mean, we might just... I don't know. Ha! Huh. A Hakpalita. I thought that was a cataract, But no, that would have been ridiculous. Alright, we're losing Grasp on Brussels. I wasn't even aware we had a Grasp on Brussels. Would be nice to build something for this, uh, okay. Um, yeah, now we got a research lab. I do believe we're almost done with the research labs now. We're, we're spying on the Netherlands, but to be quite honest, it's not being very fruitful. Um, let's spy on Constantinople. It is the biggest city. We could spy on Seoul, though. I think the Netherlands have a lot of anti-spy things. Let's see, let's shoot down the ironclad. 
we have ourselves our infantry now. That's great. And uh, I think it's about time. Let's just build a mint. Let us just build that bloody mint. Mm, what do we want in Heliopolis? Seaport would be good. Actually, no, we're not working any sea resources, so that wouldn't be good at all. I guess I could... Um, military base, probably a little bit redundant. I guess a submarine would be nice. We do need something to counter Theodora's uh, navy. We'll just keep this infantry around, I suppose. They're nice to have. Alright. I do believe... I'm just gonna kill this Hakupaleta, I think. Wait, what? Oh, it's Daido's Hakupaleta. Oh, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell the difference between these two things. Alright. Let us do some damage to the city and move in for the kill. I hope my... Uh, oh, I actually had a promotion here. Uh, might as well grab Siege. Oh, I can take the city. Great. Let's view it. See what it has. Bank, factory, windmill, workshop, amphitheater, museum, op opera house. Hmm. Well, uh, this is a pretty good city, actually. I think I'll just annex it immediately. I have the happiness for it, so why not? Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Let us um, start sending some units down here, shall we? This Lancer won't really do much, but we can keep it around in case there's barbarians. Uh, cool, we got a new spy. I do believe that was last turn. Alright, we'll build a courthouse in Antioch. Yeah, we'll keep the city, I guess. It's not such a bad city. I mean, we could just take Theodora's capital. I mean, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? We could uh, rebase our bombers here, use them to bomb the shit out of her. I mean, it's quite weird that she ha she isn't sending her battleships to retake the city. I find that very weird. Anyway, our, happen or our money income isn't looking so great right now. We're gonna have to work on our trade routes. I would be nice to take uh, Constantinople, actually. Let's kill this ironclad. And let's start working on a road. Send some artillery down to protect the city because it's, let's be honest, it's probably going to get attacked. There we go. Send the Great General to join in. Alright, right, right. Great Generals can't move on top of workers. Alright, let's heal up our Great War Bombers. They've done pretty good for themselves. I wonder if Theodore is going to move and try to take back the city. Alright, so what do we want right here in Memphis? Get an opera house, maybe? Can you actually place a great work of art in a city that's being... Yeah, you can, actually. That's cool. Hey, cool! I can actually get myself some more aluminium. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? There's some aluminium mine right here. Oh, what an amazing terrace farm tile that would be. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be like an eight food tile if, if I played the Incans. Oh, I definitely want to play the Incans sometimes. You know what? I'm going to actually grab an Opera House because we might get some more great musicians. And I think it's about time we grab an Observatory in this city. Uh, right. So you can just go and auto improve. Still haven't seen any forces from the Theodora trying to retake Antioch. That's kind of weird. What is she doing? Oh well. We are currently working on some fighter jets. Um, Antioch doesn't have an airport, does it? No. It should it should have an airport so we can have 10 fighters or 10 aircraft in here. We could use the aircraft to start bombing Adri uh, Adrianople. We do have some very nice experience on those bombers now, so that's great. Alright, let's move in. Let's use, might as well embark to get our units quickly to this destination. And let's see what we can do. Uh, maybe we can kill a carrier. That'd be nice. We could definitely use some more subs, though. Ah, 
stupid artillery. I didn't want you to switch places. Oh, well. All right, let's just embark with this great general. And what is... Ah, cool. We finally have an, a tripline. So we definitely want interception and we want range. Let's just see if we can... Uh, yeah, we can rebase it to Thebes. And uh, I think actually getting a hotel in some of my cities wouldn't be such a horrible idea. What I could do... I could build myself a museum because God knows this... Uh, I have a lot of uh, artifacts just sitting around doing nothing. So I might as well just go and get them. Like, they're literally just sitting around here doing absolutely nothing. It's a wonder they haven't been claimed yet. I should probably send uh, an infantry up or maybe my lancer to check for encampments. Because there are there is undoubtedly a couple of barbarian encampments here. But yeah, I'm actually not so sad about taking Antioch. It's a really good city. It saves me constructing a lot of buildings. So, that's great. My happiness is looking freaking fabulous right now. I'm happy about that. I, we could take Adrianople as well. That's a really good city, actually. Alright, let's uh, rebase our fighter over here. And let's move in with our artillery. Let's set them up to fire and see if we can do some more damage. Just keep bombing their ironclads. Would be great to have some more subs. You know what, I'm gonna build a couple of archaeologists, just because I can, because there's a bunch of artifacts up here that hasn't been claimed by anyone. Might as well go get them, right? I am risking my uh, forces right now, naturally. They could get picked off by enemy ships, but hey. Yeah, let's get those artifacts. We, we could build museums in our cities. Oh, would you look at that? Well, we aren't doing very well. Let's check out the Netherlands, actually. He's rising slowly, or Willem is rising slowly. How about France? Also rising slowly. Not really a big threat as of yet. If we increase our culture pool, we decrease the likelihood of him becoming influential with us. I guess we could really just snag up these artifacts right now. They've kind of been sitting around for a very long time. Oh, we can make peace with the city-state. We should probably go over the city-states we're at war with and see if we can make peace with any of them. Also, there we go. I just wanted to turn up the uh, mu music volume a little bit. All right, so interception, definitely, and range, definitely. Let's send you over to Heliopolis. And let's rebrace our great war bombers. Start bombing the shit out of the city. This triplane can stay and intercept. You can also use it to perform an air sweep. To see if there's any uh, anti-air around here. Probably is. Let's get our great general into action. Uh, oh, right. We actually have to go through Shaka, Shaka's territory right here. Let's see if he's willing to sign an open border deal with us. He's guarded, so I doubt it. Oh, he is willing to uh, do open borders with us. Dude, look at that. All right, let's do an air sweep. Actually, no, we can't do that yet. We need to rebase. All right, let's just uh, fortify. Start bombarding the city. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's get a uh, museum up in Thebes. Let's get some of these artifacts lying around. Might as well, right? Alright, so, 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 so nice of Shaka to give me open borders. What a nice guy he is. Looks like we can't steal anymore. We can't steal from Byzantium. Oh well. Um, oh well. Well, we could, we could bribe, I guess. Or, I mean, who is currently ahead of us in tech? Korea is quite ahead of us. My god, we cannot steal from Korea. This is gonna take for fucking ever. Ah, uh, might as well go rig some elections then, I suppose. Manila is at war with Theodora. That's not gonna happen. We're not gonna get... How about Kiev? That's not going to happen. We could try to get Mombasa away from France, I suppose. So, um... Yeah, let's just try Mombasa. Might as well use them for city-state election rigging. 
Zanzibar, that's not gonna happen. We could always put a, uh, yeah, we could, you know what we could do? We could, we could, uh, put a, a spy in Yerevan, just to make sure we keep it. Because there's probably spies there trying to get it away from, uh, us, so. Alright, so now we have a museum in Moscow, that's great. Oh, wow. Our infantry took quite a bit of damage there. So we're gonna do an air sweep. Yeah, there, I, I saw some, yeah, she's... Rebasing some triplanes and some bombers. I don't really know. I think he just wanted me to get open borders. Not really interested in that. Dido is plotting against me. What else is new? Dido is plotting against everyone, Shaka. But in four turns, we'll get bombers and fighters. So we'll actually need to save up some money. Or need to get some money. I really need to get my trade network going again. Um, we only have one fighter. Which is not great. We're probably gonna get bombed pretty heavily right now. Alright, well, uh, let's start shooting at Adri Adrianople, shall we? Let's move in for the kill. Uh, maybe we can pillage something? Yeah, let's pillage something. And I'm just gonna... Gonna do your old uh, interception with the Great War Bomber. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that was an interception, I think. I think I might just be able to kill this city and then I'll destroy all of her airplanes. So, joke's on her, pretty much, if she moves all of her planes in there. Alright, cool. Let's uh, grab some more archaeologists, scout for barbarian encampments. Great work of art. Always nice to get yeah, some more culture and tourism. I haven't actually checked if we're getting some, if we have any theming bonuses to work with. Um, let's see. This is Russia classical era, Egypt Renaissance era. We don't really have a lot of artifacts, but we do have like two museums, so that's at least something. All right, let's just shoot down this ironclad. I really want more submarines. Five submarines. I might actually lose this infantry. It might get bombed to smithereens. Alright, cool. Let's grab an Egyptian artifact. So, now we have an Egyptian... So, we might be able to... No. They're from two completely different eras, so that's not gonna work. Nope. That is not going to work. Hey, wait a minute. We have... We have the great... No, we have an Oxford University right now. And that was my infantry getting killed. Uh, filled with writing from different eras and from civilizations other than the city owner. Of that I have what you enig belang zal in boezemen. No. But do you want iron? I guess not. Um, we don't really have that many great works of art, and they're all from Egypt, so we'd have to swap. But that shouldn't be so hard. I could swap with William, and then. I could swap one. This is a Renaissance. They're all Renaissance, so we we want an industrial era one. I think we can actually get a theming bonus going here. There we go, plus two. Always nice to get those theming bonuses whenever you can get them. However, we can probably kill the city on this turn. Uh, she removed all of her aircraft away. Smart girl. Let's just kill what we can. The city will, without a doubt, go down to zero hit points. We'll kill a battleship, which is quite fun. Alright, we'll just keep being on intercept mode and let's take Adrianople. So let's view the city, see if it's a city we actually want to keep. It's not that good, actually, to be quite honest. Um, it has some buildings. I guess we could at least create a puppet. It might get taken away from us again, but that's really fine. Let's grab some archaeologists. Here's some more archaeologists. Let's scout for barbarians, see what we can find. There's bound to be at least a couple barbarians out here, right? Alright, Memphis. Let's grab some more archaeologists, shall we? We suddenly have a lot of slots for them, so we might as well. Alright, world religion, Islam? Definitely not. Sciences funding? I'm not opposed to that at all. 
I don't necessarily want to vote against William, though. Um, I could vote for the sciences funding. I don't mind getting more engineers and scientists at all, actually. Cool, now we've connected Antioch with railroads. That's great. It's probably still going to be in resistance for a little while, though. Um, I could just make peace with her right now and keep Adrianople, because she's definitely going to take it back. And I think I could get a pretty juicy a peace treat out of her right now. Not sure if I want to keep Adrianople, though. It's not a fantastic city. It does have got some manufacturers, though, so... Uh, no, I don't want open borders with you. Shaka is apparently uh, battling with city-states. Yeah, Theodore actually has a pretty large army. I wonder who has the largest army right now. Uh, it is William, actually. Well, he has, like, over twice as much military as we do. Not that my military is fantastic, mind you. Alright, uh, let us uh, do some damage to uh, our ships, or just get the experience we can get before we peace out. Always a good idea to do this. And also, never underestimate the damage triplanes can do to units. They actually do pretty decently. Barbarians! There you are. Oh, the hand axe that killed my knights. Finally, revenge after like a hundred years. Alright, let's fight a little bit. And I do believe that's all the experience we can get, so let us peace out. Viva. Well, she wants to give us a lot of shit. Let's uh, ask for gold. 303 gold per turn. 25 gold. Let's see if she wants to give us some cities as well. No. But she wants to give us 300 gold, which I think is quite fine. And what is starving? Adrianople is apparently starving. Alright, well that went pretty well. And of course, once the peace treat, I, we, we could just use this. Okay, there comes the denunciation. I think I'm just gonna denounce her. I'm gonna see if she has any friends. Let's go to. Uh, oh, here comes the denunciation from William as well. Let's go to global politics and see. So, they're at war with the Sulus, they're friends with the Netherlands, they're friends with France as well. Friends with Byzantium, denounced Korea, Carthage. We could pretty, just go ahead and denounce them both. I mean, we could crush William City as well. I'm certainly not opposed to that. Gotta be a little bit careful with our happiness right now. But right now we can at least work on our trade work network again, thank god. I think that's exactly what we'll do. We need to build uh there we go. Airports. Fantastic. We definitely want an airport in our capital as well. Let's just explore with the submarine for now. Keep this infantry around. Another archaeologists. Let's go grab this artifacts. And we can finally. Upgrade our shit. It's an expensive upgrade, but it's definitely worth it. So now we have freaking bombers. They're so much stronger than Great War bombers. But the fighters, what makes the fighters so good, or their upgrade so good? Uh, let us grab... Uh, I think we're gonna grab Bombardment. We, we're gonna have to kill a lot of land units with these guys. What makes the fighters so damn good is their increased range. Alright. Um, we probably want, I mean, we could certainly grab some nice land trade routes as well. It's not that, but I think most of our amazing trade routes, if we go to trade routes available on gold, it's mostly with city-states, actually. What? Huh? Wait, am I embargoed? I think I, I think I'm embargoed. Yes, I got embargoed. I didn't even notice. Apparently, I got freaking embargoed. Yay. Oh, well, that sucks. Holy shit. I'll need to repeal that, if I can. Alright, at least I can trade with uh, city-states, right? So that, that works. Yeah, at least that works. Well, we'll need to work on our economy then, if uh, my mil if my economy is going to be in such a sh sad shape. If we can... I think we'll definitely look into uh, killing Theodora. It's taking her capital. 
than maybe just killing her outright. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But we need to get a lot of shit done if we we need we need a lot of gold. I mean, I could just I could trade with some city states. It's not bad. I just I just fear that all of my trade routes will will vanish once I go to war again. All right, let's actually grab that military academy in Moscow because we're going to be producing a lot of units. Um, yeah, it's about time we get our we, we're going to queue up a bunch of. First the workboats, and then uh, at least three cargo ships, I think. Oh, what the hell? What's up with the uh, specialists in this city? Always got to be on the lookout for uh, cities having uh, unemployed citizens. That is never a good thing. And we're currently spawning a lot of great people. I'm thinking maybe we should let the city grow a little bit. I don't know, we don't want to sell that. Get, letting our capital grow a little bit definitely sounds like a nice idea. So now Thebes will grow in five turns, which sounds pretty good to me. All of our other fo cities should be on production focus. Sounds like a good idea. Just make that city produce a little bit faster. 69 turns now. There we are, it's gonna grow in 14 turns now. Maybe we lock that oasis as well. Yeah, there we go. We, we definitely wanna grow the city. Nine turns. Yeah, we have the happiness to grow our cities a little bit, so that's fine. Let's queue up some cargo ships in this city. We definitely wanna utilize our best trade routes. And now we can actually get rocketry, which would be fantastic. Getting rocket artillery right now would be so nice. Um, yeah, I think the workers moving over to the aluminium mine to get that, which sounds amazing. Oh, if you look at that rifleman. Milan has declared war on Shaka. How nice. <laughs> My empire appears to be quite puny, William. Really? Really? That's, uh, yeah, you're one to talk. Actually, what we really should do, we should build three workboats and send them to Adrianople. Thank you. Cool, great. Uh, declaration of friendship with Korea. I am definitely all for that. We actually need a lot of workboats in Alexandria. So, we need four workboats in Alexandria. No, wait, one, two. No, we, can, we have the whales, so one, two. We need five more. Four after this one. So that sounds okay. Let's go grab some artifacts. You look at that, William. Uh, I knew the, the AI would settle a stupid city like that eventually. Let's see if we can grab... Uh, there's an artifact down here, I do believe. Yeah, here. We can go grab that artifact. Okay, let's rebase. Alt-R. We definitely want an airport in this city right here. And we need a lot of money if we want to promote all of these artillery to rocket artillery. Alright, let's go grab the fish. Let's go kill the warriors. Alright, I'm gonna queue up a bunch of work boats. Four work boats, I do believe we need. So I'm just gonna do this. One, two, three, four, and then cargo ships. I do believe we're done with archaeologists for the time being. We want an airport in Thebes, definitely, so we can airdrop uh, units. And I think it's about time we grab an opera house in Memphis. We also want stock exchanges in our cities sooner or later. Oh, cool, we have a spy that is not working. Um, I guess what we could do is we could send a spy to Constantinople just to get a vision. All right, now we have a sub for that, so we're fine. Uh, who's currently doing best in terms of culture? Okay, France is actually getting really scary right now, so we want to be sending a diplomat to them to uh, even it out a little bit. Let's actually send, send the diplomat to Paris. We haven't explored anything right here. It would actually be kind of nice to discover radar. Oh, are we done with the research labs? We are not. Not, not as of yet. 
Right, we got some more uh, sign or got some more archaeologists. Uh, I do believe there are still some. Uh, wow, we can't kill the worker, really. <laughs> I mean, the warrior. All right, elephantine. Let us grab the bank. I do believe there should be some. Ah, they're right here, right here, right under my nose. There's an artifact. Let's just heal up our uh, airplanes so they're ready for the big battle. Yeah, Theodore actually has a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Alright, let's just queue up a bunch of uh, basic buildings right here. The market, the stable, the forge. Uh, let's actually gain, get the stable and the forge first, because they give production. Although the monument will be built in one turn. What's so great about order is that monuments give me two happiness, which is amazing. It makes the monument so insanely good. But yeah, I'm, if I can get my hands on some money, I might be interested in... Uh, oh, wait. These two fishing ships... Okay, now we already have a fishing ship right here, so we don't need... There's actually... We can we can avoid one ship, fishing ship. I don't need to build four. I only need to build three. Although I could certainly send one up here. Yeah, might as well. It's gonna take some time to get there. Actually, it's gonna... It won't get there at all. Because <laughs> there's not a canal city right here. Oh, well. Civilian was captured by. Oh, would you look at that? There's a barbarian encampment over there. Let's go rescue the civilians. Okay, so Moscow definitely want an airport in Moscow so we can airdrop units from Moscow quickly to uh, Adrianople. And send this workboat out here. Let's send this uh, cargo ship to Alexandria. I do believe most of our trade routes will originate from Alexandria. Yeah, Alexandria, Alexandria, Antioch. There, there is actually a bunch of good um, good trade routes from Piramsis as well, which leads me to believe we should probably get a harbor in that city if we haven't gotten, gotten it already. I don't think we have a harbor in this city. We'll have to wait until our turn is uh, ready. Wow. The... Oh, right, William is actually invading. Oh my god, Shaka and uh, William are actually duking it out big time. Do you look at that? Jakarta is falling, Madan is falling, Sophia is falling, Cardiff is falling. They're really battling it out. I I'm actually not sure who's going to be the winner here, but William does have the largest army, and by the looks of it, also the most technological army. What the hell is approval? Apparently, I'm doing very well in approval. That could just be happiness, actually. One of those stats I really never look at. Uh, let's see. So, Alexandria basically has the greatest trade routes available. And do we even have a harbor here? We do. Alright, well, let's uh, grab the gold then. That's a trade route with Kiev. Let's actually prioritize city states which wants to trade with us, such as Prague, Manila. Yeah. We want to trade out with Manila, that's for sure. These guys just go and intercept. Something tells me Theodora is really looking to take the city back. But is Theodora at war with Chaka? Yeah, he is friendly. He could be faking friendship, actually. Um, does he want iron? He does not want iron. But I could convince him into attacking Theodora. That would be huge, actually. No, they are already at war. Okay, wonderful. That is actually, uh, that is quite all right. All right, let's grab a uh, museum in Memphis. And let's grab a stock exchange, maybe, in Novgorod. We need to work on that gold. All right, cool. Antioch is coming along nicely. We do have a road going through Shaka's borders, which is not ideal. But we need to stay friendly with Shaka. Um, I'm actually thinking that... I wonder, it looks like things are not going particularly... Yeah, Loss has been captured by the Sulis. He's going very back and forth Thank right you. here. Uh, mm, sure, I can it. give you wine, my friend. It's actually quite nice to uh, be able to uh, remain friends with Korea in this uh, situation, because I'd like someone to do research agreements with. So I'm going to actually give them wine. Normally I never do it, but it's it's nice in this situation, because it's friendships are very hard to come by at this stage of the game. So, I'd like to keep them. Apparently, Napoleon is quite wonderful. 
Alright, let's send the fishing boats over here. Let's send this one to Alexandria. If we can grab a harbor... Oh, we already have a, a, a harbor here. Okay, let's actually grab a seaport. A research lab has been purchased in Alexandria. That's great. Another Egyptian artifact. Let's see if we can get some... Pea, uh, I mean, some uh, oh, right. Here we have a uh, theming bonus right here. Egypt Renaissance. Another Russian artifact. Might be able to get another theming bonus going on here. Mm, Egypt. Egypt. Ru oh, wait a minute. They're both Russia, but no, they're not. We're not going to get a theming bonus out of this. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Well, we can swap the theming bonus around. <laughs> oh well, plus one is better than plus zero. Infinitely much better, actually. So I'm quite happy with that. Adrianople will be in resistance for three more turns. Sophia has declared war on Shaka. Now, this war is very interesting. It looks like William is winning, which is actually bad for me, because William and... I'm actually kind of worried about France right now, too, because France is rising slowly with Egypt. We definitely don't want to trade with France, and that's good. It's actually a good thing we are embargoed right now, because that means France can't trade with us. So it's actually a blessing in disguise. Uh, we're rigging elections, that's great. I should probably just go over each civilization and see if I can share some intrigue, because I might I might have missed out on some intrigue, and that's a sm small diplomatic My boost. Yeti. We definitely want that. We don't really care so much about Theodora, though. I'm actually just gonna Vita. denounce her. I'm gonna denounce William as well. Just to get a boost with everyone. And let's talk to Korea, see if we can share some intrigue with them. We cannot. Can we share some intrigue with Napoleon? We cannot. But maybe he wants to buy... No, he doesn't want to buy anything. We have quite limited uh, trading partners in this game. Let's grab a, grab a stock exchange in Elephantine. Finally, we can get some trade routes going. Let's see. Prague. Let's trade with Prague. 30 gold per turn is certainly not bad. And another Russian artifact. Can we grab some theming bonuses out of that? We can grab a plus two theming bonus. And we can grab a plus one theming bonus right here. So that's great. Now we have 175 culture per turn. That is ridiculously good, actually. I think it's going to be very hard for France to become influential with us if we keep expanding our culture pool like this. So I am quite satisfied. But that Moscow is going to grow right now, too. Um, that gives me a boost. Uh, I might be able to get a declaration of friendship with Shaka, actually, which would be pretty huge. Uh, then again, Napoleon does not like Shaka, apparently, and wants to declare war on him. Wow, well, Theodora has a... Oh, I thought she declared war. I forgive you. Ah, how nice. I actually uh, killed the Carthaginian spy. I think I'll just le leave Nemphit right here, because there's a lot of people spying on me right now. I kind of regret not picking up the dub double agent uh, policy, which doubles the chance of killing enemy spies, which actually would be really sweet in this regard, because I bet like a shit ton of people are spying on me right now. That would get me that would make me kill so many spies, that uh, policy. I think I already have like a 40% chance to kill spies. That would be like an 80%. I'd kill basically everything. Alright, let's uh, grab a bank in Thebes. That will give us a lot of nice gold. We definitely need to work on our economy. It's in pretty shad shape. But it's coming along quite nicely. Hell, we could even get some coal from Adrianople once it, the city expands a little bit further. It's going to be a pretty tough war against uh, Theodora, though. You can see all the units she has. We definitely need an airport in Adrianople, and we need more fighters. Because there's going to be so many bombings going on. Oh, wow. Um, you know what? I'm actually more interested in your gold. I'm going to see if he wants to uh, do that. Sejong has declared war on Theo. Oh, wow. Korea just attacked uh, Theodora. That's great. That's amazing. Would you look at that? I, I intend on doing that pretty soon myself. I just hope Shaka won't get owned in the meanwhile. I guess Sophia's going down. There's a lot of carnage happening over here. 
would love if there was some way to share vision in this game. And we just passed the thousand science threshold, ladies and gentlemen. Now we need to think about what to get. Actually, getting satellites would be great. That would, uh, I re getting the Hubble telescope, space telescope wonder would be even better. But actually, no, you know what? I think we're gonna go for telecommunication because grabbing the CN tower would be huge. That would actually be insanely huge. Or even better, we could go for the Great Firewall. Actually, I think we need the Great Firewall because if we don't protect ourselves, if Napoleon gets the internets, we are screwed. So I think we'll go for the Great Firewall. Alright, let's grab Wolfpack, and we don't need another vision on submarines, so we're just gonna grab Wolfpack 2. There we go. Start attacking these guys. It's gonna take some time for them to kill them, but that's fine. Um, right here, let's grab a stock exchange, increase our gold outputs. And would you look at that? Napoleon is plotting against Shaka. Let us share this intrigue. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time I make a cut. Hope you guys are enjoying this parts. I'm certainly enjoying the new music. Oh, it's so nice to have some decent music in the background for a change. Can't believe I didn't do this sooner. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Mangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Remember to like and comment.